What's going on guys, in this video I'll just talk about how to debug SAP UI5 application using UI5 diagnostic tool. So this is the SAP help documentation and uh, I'll just give the URL in the description box of the video. So this is kind of an utility and uh, this tool is quite effective and efficient and I use quite often to debug my UI5 projects. So to trigger this particular utility, you need to use this particular uh, button combination and uh, it, it has a couple of uh, interesting features and I'll just uh, walk through a few of them. So the first, it will talk about the different technical information like which kind of you know query, jQuery and all other libraries being uh, used for the bootstrapping. Different the control uh, tree section, it will talk about the different binding informations. We'll also see how it actually been used uh, while you do a debugging and uh, uh, features like how to track the different function uh, control and uh, from the controller it easily navigates you to the exact method that you are looking at while you're clicking a button or maybe you'll want to use some sort of you know value from the drop down list you can also hit uh, uh, the you know uh, any uh, specific method of a class using this class selection uh, option we'll also talk about this one uh, and uh, a couple of more things kind of uh, you know bootstrapping with a different uh, specific resource URL that you can uh, activate and you can switch on uh, for a different bootstrapping so let's see how it actually works uh, in real uh, application and I'll just use some sort of a uh, SAP demo applications here uh, because uh, that way it will be easy for me to you know uh, explain the tool how it works so stay tuned till the end uh, and if you just like this video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel to see this kind of videos in future more now to trigger the uh, utility tool the button combination is Control shift alt and s and that is for windows and it will open this particular pop-up which is called a diagnostic tool uh, for the mac you have to just use the Control shift command and s because it doesn't have the world button so you have to use the command instead as just explained this is the technical information and it showcases like different uh, uh, you know uh, versions of the UI5 different jQuery that being used to the version and uh, currently the debug sources uh, function is on uh, so if it is off make sure you just click on this toggle button and it will set the debug sources as on and let's go down below this uh, particular section called control tree and uh, it actually showcases all the control elements in a tree fashion now let's just see what kind of debugging we want to want to do with this uh, application it has a couple of buttons and features it's a very simple application that's why i just picked it up so let's say it's a button called the maximize it maximizes the application it has some toggle search bar toggle filter button which is changing it it has certain drop downs so let's uh, for the sake of our demonstration let's just think about if i click on this button let's say uh, you know the toggle search field how it all how it will works right uh, i mean which methods is responsible for that so to go with that you can just click on this right click go for inspect element it will open the element uh, tab and it will showcase the specific uh, span so here it is showing under the span so this is not our point of interest we'll have to just little bit move up and you'll see this button id double click on this button id and just go to the diagnostic tool once again and you can just control f search it will come to this okay if you select this one you will find a couple of uh, you know options the first one is the property and it has a certain you know uh, dynamic uh, controls so that uh it's if i just make this uh, unchecked it will make this button disabled okay but obviously that is not our point of interest we will just uh, figure it out how if i click on this button which method is responsible to you know uh, make that particular functionality achieved okay and it has a couple of other uh, way to you know get to this particular element uh, if you just have this things button open you can put control alt shift and alt you can just figure it out from here itself i guess Control Alt or Shift. So if you just press these three buttons and click any of the uh, button over here, it will make a green uh, uh, kind of a mark, and it will come to that particular uh, element auto selected. Okay. So if you don't want to do for inspect element selecting the button IDs and all, 
you can go by this route as well so let's figure out what this particular go button talks about uh, it has certain properties as i said it has a binding infos which is empty because it doesn't have showing any binding infos for this button go for the breakpoints this is the area which i'm looking at now to trigger this one you will find in the drop down a couple of you know a lot many of different functions where you can put a breakpoint to so for our uh, uh, particular use case we'll put fire uh, phrase maybe okay this is the um, function where i would like to put a, a debugging you have to click this add breakpoint button it will set this one if you want to remove this uh, debugging uh, uh, you know control out of this particular method you have to just click on this red uh, cross sign that's it so what will happen if i just click on this so i have selected the go button so if i click on this go what will happen you see automatic automatically the the magic uh, is there and the debugger is now written for this piece of code if you just go a little bit of the call stack you see on the button fire press it basically uh, you know the debugger is set right so now go to the console clean everything and just put something called this dot m event registry so this is the method i'll just check this property and if i just you now expand you'll see something called a press okay so uh, expand it the first one which talks about the function is a point of interest expand this more expand one more and you will see this particular function is actually triggering to this filter bar debug control okay so if you click on that it will take you to that particular piece where this attach test function triggers so if i click on this button uh, sorry this uh, put a chrome debugger and you just you know, put this a breakpoint manual breakpoint if you click on over here the control will go now to this on search button right so this is a go which is an on search function and you can just use your uh, debugger you know different buttons f5 f6 something uh, so it will take you to that specific code and you can just debug so it's a very fast and easy way you can get into that particular method now let's talk about something on the drop down uh, this particular uh, combo box so for that the same technique i'll just use alt shift control and if i click on that and go over here this combo box is marked go to property section and it will open uh, just let me maximize it you'll see uh, it has lots of you know items because these items you you know like uh, it talks about what are the different uh, values for this drop down uh, that combo box contains right so let's say uh, go to this combo box once again and click on properties and let's do something like the selected key and there is two uh, check boxes the first g is for the greater methods and s for the setter method so if i just want to set something on get selected key the moment i'll click on this drop down uh, you know uh, button automatically this get selected key is supposed to trigger right if i just set this out and click on this and just wait for some time i don't know my system is a little slow but yeah it hits over here if you just go to call, call stack you see the get selected is one is triggered okay so let's little bit do a debugging and see what the values i'm going to get out of this method and the v item is null because it's supposed to you know uh, get the value is supposed to open the list now and now get selected key it's again coming to that function and this drop down is now open so now i know like when this uh, how to control the method uh, or to debug the exact method which is responsible for opening this you know drop down values to get selected similar way you can do a set select function also so if i just go any of this item let's say emia so the key value is 001 right so if i just put a value in this combo box set selected key as 001 and put a set selection what will happen is i think it's going back to this one once again and now let's click on this one and it's again going back to a debugger option now you see this uh just a second and if i just go once more 
yeah so now this this one is basically set it up with america which is the selected key now click on the set selected and put 002 maybe if i just go to over here one second it's debugged it's hanged so means it's going to trigger it now go back and you now see the value 002 means if the value i just want to set it up with specific value it gets triggered so now this is uh, the way we can control like which value if you want to assign and you want to debug for the specific value selection what exactly is going to happen you can debug with this uh, getter and setter method which is quite effective and in useful let's move forward so let's close this uh, control tree and i think we can close technical information as well you have something called uh, the debugging where you have an option uh, called select class so what will happen i can select any class from this drop down list and let's say i just want to add sap m button this class add class this one now select this one it will open this particular i can you can do a double select double click it will open the select method so out of this class which method i'm just interested to set a breakpoint for so here i can again put like say fire press i think i have to do one shot uh, yeah and add breakpoint so in this case what will happen it is not for any specific uh, button that i'm setting up uh, fire press event uh, you know debugger rather it's for entire application so any button now i click doesn't matter right it will hit this debugger and if, if you go to call stack and you'll see on the fire press right so that way uh, and a button and a class level you can easily select uh, the, the debugger control you can put it up you see the any button now i just trigger it will hit this particular central you know fire press event and from there you can go to the specific one like i said in the, con in the console you can find this filter bar and you'll just see this button and if you just see it it'll come here or any other button let's say this one if i just click now go to control again uh, you just i think go here and if you just hit it up uh, just a second i think it needs to be uh, re-initiated re let's hit this one fast it's come over here go to console and put this uh, dot m event registry and now just go to press function and this is the one so toggle will come over here see if you want to execute see it comes to this toggle button and now you can just do a debugging how it actually works inside what are the things it does right so quite easy and effective way as i said another option you can see is let's close this one first it's all running still yeah so there is another option called the boost application with different uff versions on the next uh, reload so what happens like if you just drop down is the drop down and you can select any of the bootstrapping uh, you know resource url and you select it and click on this activate uh, button i think disable will not work public open ui5 yeah so let's say this is the resource uh, you know url that i want to use for boot my bootstrapping i have to just click on activate reboot url so automatically the application will reboot with this particular resource url okay now you probably will be thinking like what is happening how this debugger you know kind of a, a coding is automatically getting generated we just set this particular function right fire press event for example so what is the technique behind this uh, uh, behind this approach so sap is actually using a particular uh, design paradigm or you know, development technique that is called aspect oriented programming so if we just do a little bit of uh, googling with the wikipedia you can find a little more about how it works it basically gets the actual um, you know code snippet and it just uses its own hooking and it puts its own logic over their functional without you know uh, damaging or without modifying the existing code uh, and it just you know, added up its own hooking methods for example it's just adding about a debugger in this case and it basically you know uh, use that hooking for the actual uh, functionality it doesn't change it doesn't change the original code piece okay so this is an aspect oriented programming that the concept it uh, actually running behind the scene 
one more thing is for example if we just do one more round of uh, testing let's say uh, the classes I'm just looking for SAP uh, button and I just want to use something called Firepress once again okay and if I just click on this button it comes to this one right and you can see something called method hook okay which is actually uh, a part of this aspect oriented uh, design pattern that's been followed and it's adding up this particular code okay it is not changing the original method function that's a, a concept of this aspect oriented programming it's a very powerful things and this is what been used over here okay now one more thing you see there is a piece of logic which is saying like alert no debugger what will happen if i just close this one now and if we just click on that it says like this the debugger is not closed right and for this reason it's just giving a warning message or information like hey this is what uh, I, I cannot debug it until now let's say open the chrome debugger so this is the shortcut key uh, that it's asked to open i hope this discussion was helpful to you and if you like this discussion, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see this kind of video in future. And thanks for watching. We'll again shortly connect to the different topic. Goodbye.